Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be taking a look at the Insurgent Pickup Custom added as part of the uh, Heist DLC as well as the Gun Running DLC. So let's get right to the guide shall we? So in order to grab yourself an Insurgent Pickup Custom you must first purchase the Pegasus version from the Warstock Cash and Carry website then take it to your bunker for it to then be upgraded inside your mobile operations centre. Though do keep in mind there's a couple of research unlocks you must first do before you have everything available for purchase so if you're wanting to get your hands on the minigun as well as the extravagant armour plating you'll first need to get your research done. Anyways while I wait for my research to become fast track ready I'll use my friends insurgent pickup custom to do some benchmark performance drag test to see what the performance is like on the Civi insurgent aka the chrome mobile the crappy Pegasus Insurgent Pickup, and finally the Insurgent Pickup Custom. As you can see, the Pickup Custom wipes the floor in terms of performance compared to the Pegasus version, which isn't really a surprise, but let's see how the Civi Insurgent fares against the Pickup Custom, shall we? Oh. oh no, no no, it can't be, the, the, the chromobile, it's obsolete! So now that we know that the Civi Insurgent is obsolete in terms of performance, it's time to build ourselves a new chromobile. I shall call it the chromobile Mark II. Yeah, perfect name. I'm gonna equip it with everything but the kitchen sink and then take it outside for some armor testing. Now unfortunately, no matter what armor configuration you put on the insurgent, the glass is not bulletproof, meaning one good shot to the driver's eye sockets and that insurgent is out of action. Though to be fair, if you equip the heavy armor configuration, you're gonna be a very difficult target to hit. However, if you equip the pickup custom with any of the custom armor loadouts, you'll lose your ability for the occupants inside to use their drive by weapons. If you equip the vehicle with any kind of armor plating you'll lose the ability to toss explosives out of the window and if you equip it with heavy armor plating you lose all ability to use any weapons through the windows, leaving all of the attacking up to the machine gunner up top so keep that in mind. Though with the big plates protecting the gunner from gunfire it's certainly going to make the gunner feel a lot more safe about giving all they have against any oncoming threat. Speaking of the mounted gun, the pickup custom allows you to upgrade the default belt fed into a 50 caliber minigun. <laughs> to be fair, it's not as powerful as the name portrays it to be. It's definitely better than most other machine guns in the game, but it's not gonna rock your world like you would expect a real 50 caliber minigun to do so. It'll take down long range targets with ease and has more than enough power to take out foot mobiles and cars quickly and effectively, though the up down aim ability does leave more to be desired. So that's pretty much the pickup custom for you. It's a slightly faster version of the Civi Insurgent, which therefore makes it kinda obsolete considering that it has a gun mounted on top of it compared to the Civi version, which mm, doesn't. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this short guide to the Insurgent Pickup Custom. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyron Gaming Channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, everyone.